The Oligocene epoch spanned from 33.9 to 23 million years ago, precisely in the middle of the tertiary period, and towards the end of the Paleogene. Despite the fact that it was just 11 million years long, it saw a number of significant changes. The development of the first elephants with trunks, early horses, and various grasses, plants that would provide huge grasslands in the following epoch, the Miocene, are among these changes. The Oligocene epoch is split into two epochs, each with its own rock stage, which are Ripleian and Chatian. Except for the indigenous rodent and marsupial species, the start of the Oligocene is marked by a significant extinction event known as the Grande Coupure, which saw European fauna replaced by Asian fauna. Starting with the Oligocene climate, glaciers formed in Antarctica for the first time during the Cenozoic in the Oligocene, signaling the beginnings of a global cooling. Sea level dropped as ice sheets grew larger. The tropics faded, leaving cooler woods and grasslands in their place. The main cooling trend continued, ending in the Pleistocene ice ages, notwithstanding a brief episode of warmth in the late Oligocene. A 7 million year progressive climatic shift in the Oligocene interrupts the normal temperature fall of the Paleogene Epoch. As seen in the Paleo Temps figure, the gradual climatic shift began 32.5 million years ago and lasted until 25.5 million years ago. The Oligocene climatic transition was marked by a worldwide rise in ice volume and a 55 meter drop in sea level, as well as a temperature decline. This long slump abruptly ended after the eruption of the Lagarita Caldera. At McMurdo Sound and King George Island, a deep 400,000-year glaciated Oligocene-Miocene boundary event is reported. Movements in the ocean are one of the major impact events occurring during this era. The Oligocene marks the start of current ocean circulation, with geological movements forcing ocean gates to open and close. By the Eocene-Oligocene border, the seas had already begun to cool, and they continued to cool as the Oligocene advanced. The early Oligocene saw the emergence of permanent Antarctic ice sheets, as well as probable Arctic glacial activity, which may have affected oceanic cooling, but the amount of this influence is still a point of contention. The opening and closing of ocean gateways, manifested in the ways of the opening of the Drake Passage, the opening of the Tasmanian Gateway, and the closing of the Tethys Seaway, as well as the final formation of the Greenland, Iceland, Faroe Sill, all played important roles in reshaping oceanic currents during the Oligocene. Ocean circulation changed as the continents moved toward a more contemporary structure. The Oligocene fauna holds a significant importance during that epoch. Terrestrial vertebrate faunas from the Oligocene epoch are rich and numerous, with examples found in North America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. The northern continent's vertebrates have an entirely contemporary look, which is due to the extinction of archaic vertebrates at the end of the Eocene epoch rather than the development of new taxa. The early Oligocene vertebrate faunas of the northern continents are comparable, implying a reasonably open exchange of species, whereas later Oligocene faunas exhibit a larger degree of provincialism. During the early Oligocene, pigs and peccaries first emerged in Europe. Bats were increasingly common, and at least locally numerous, throughout the Oligocene, and their droppings in caves helped to build huge phosphate deposits that are today commercially significant in many locations. Modern predators and herbivores become more diversified and plentiful throughout the period. In Dricotherium, a kind of huge hornless rhinoceros, is the world's biggest land animal, and the earliest mastodons were discovered in Egypt. Primitive horses, including three-toed varieties like Mesohippus and Myohippus, were emerging in North America. Late in the Oligocene, primitive beavers also appeared. The oldest ape-like creature, Parapithecus, has been discovered in Oligocene sediments in Egypt, together with the remnants of many Old World monkey species. The oldest New World monkeys have been discovered in South American late Oligocene sediments. During the Oligocene, South America was cut off from Central and North America, resulting in the emergence of a distinct animal fauna. Surprisingly, 
Numerous Oligocene animals from South America show great parallelism in their adaptation to taxa found elsewhere in the world and to which they are not closely related. Lastly, the development in the flora also held a considerable role in the environment during that period. The widespread spread of newly developed grasses that carpeted the plains of North and South America, Eurasia, and Africa during the Oligocene period stimulated the creation of horses, deer, and numerous ruminants, as well as the meat-eating animals that preyed on them. The progressive development of deciduous woods in place of jungles throughout the Earth's extending non-tropical areas, which had begun during the preceding Eocene period, proceeded unabated. Thus, the Oligocene holistically can frequently be seen as a critical transition period, because it serves as a connection between the archaic world of the tropical Eocene, which is by preceded the Oligocene, and the more contemporary ecosystems of the Miocene. We hope you liked the video. Subscribe to Explify for more interesting content. Let us know in the comments what you found most interesting in the video. See you in the next one.